Hello everyone, this is Roller from Winter Bros with a quick start introduction to our Content Cataloger Easy application. CCEZ was designed for Windows and it's the DAS Studio 4 edition and we created it to make it simple for almost every user out there. We'll start by opening up the application so you see what the user interface looks like. We create it using all the default settings so basically if you have a standard Windows installation and you got DAS Studio 4 installed with all its defaults you should be able to open up CCEZ and just click the Build My Catalog button. With CCEZ, we've got built-in help, so there's no real need for a user manual. These little question mark help buttons will tell you about each of these areas in CCEZ. You can see that we set up the default catalog title as My Content. You can change that if you wish. Uh, the folder that's created to hold your web page images to go along with your catalog will be in a folder with the same name. You can see we created the default save location as whatever Windows has set up as your My Documents account, which if you go to the Start button, that'll match your documents up here. And we've set Windows, uh, the search folder here, excuse me, for the DAS 3D, My DAS 3D Library uh, location, which should contain all the stuff that's in your Content Library tab or in your Smart Content tabs. And here in the Page Size, page size section, we've set it to 500 inches of default. We recommend that you don't use the no size limit option unless you know that your browser can handle the size of the catalog you are creating. Because we're going to be creating a pretty large catalog based on the 4,000 or so products that we have purchased from DAS 3D and have installed, and we're going to have over 78,000 resulting images, we left ours to 500 entries per page, and we're going to show you how big that page is here in a second. When we ran our first catalog, we went ahead and used the default settings, so my content was the name of our web catalog, showing all of our assets have been installed for DAS Studio 4. So we're going to scroll down here into the My Documents folder, and you see we have a My Content HTML. You'll see we also have some uh, additional page names of the same with uh, numbered afterwards. Because our collection was so large, we had 14 additional pages on ours. We'll go ahead and open this up really quick so you can see what it looks like. And here's how your catalog is going to look. And you'll notice on the top it's going to have the default name that you picked for your catalog. Like I said, we use the default My Content. Whatever you change it to, that's what will show up here. Uh, each page, if there's additional pages, will have a Next Page button. And if there's a Previous Page, as you go through the catalog, a Previous Page button will show up on the left side of the screen, as it shows here on our page two. At the bottom of each page, we'll go back to page one real quick at the bottom of each page because each of these images when we capture them and put them into your catalog are numbered, uh, numbered sequentially we go ahead and add at the bottom an addendum that shows which images are on that page so if you need to reference that for any reason you can we also include a help text file for every library catalog that you build that shows how to interpret uh, a DAS uh, excuse me a Windows folder right here into a DAS Studio uh, formats location or if you have poser content, how to convert it into a poser formats uh, location. Now advanced users, if they like, can actually go to that folder which has the same name as the uh, catalog that you built and they can open it up in Windows and if we're going to open it up here, we're going to show it with large icons and you can actually view all of the images that were found for your installed content. You can see that here for our first catalog we created using all the defaults we had 78,000 plus images which is quite large you can go through there in Windows and you can actually see every image in Windows it might take it a minute to catch up with you so that you can actually look here to find a product that you have installed you just don't know what the name of it is and you can take the image name that's been assigned to that image that you're looking for like here 69 67 and then you can actually go to the uh, your catalog and you can look that up by going to the page at the bottom that has that number and then look on that page for the image. We hope that you find that CCEZ is a nice product to add to your toolkit for Windows and DAS Studio 4 Plus. And we hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.